Welcome to another Demarcation Media LEGO review. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. First of all, we are going to be here at the work desk, the work table, and we are looking at this right here, what you see in front of you. This is a minifigure factory minifigure. So for those of you who don't know, LEGO launched a beta for the online minifigure factory, which means basically you can design and buy custom minifigures. So I decided to give it a try. It's a little bit expensive. This dude cost me $17. So I want to find out today if it's worth that money. And keep in mind, this is just a beta. So it's only available in the US and there you can only get stuff printed onto white torsos, which means if you do something like what they show on the front, you're going to have a red shirt printed onto a white torso, which is kind of weird. So packaging, it's kind of like a collectible minifigure. It's kind of coated paper. It says minifigure factory, six pieces. There is six pieces. You get hair, head, torso, legs, accessory, and I think a brick to display them on. There's around the back. And I have not opened this yet. So this is going to be kind of a raw reaction to how this turned out. Oh, okay. Interesting. So it doesn't look like they printed it quite the same way as as normal minifigures. And then there's a little brick with a QR code. I think maybe this QR code goes to the minifigure factory, but I'm not sure. So my goal was to kind of create a wandering warrior kind of like medieval hero kind of look and I think it turned out pretty good again the torso print isn't quite the same it looks a little bit more like custom because it's a little bit grainy so I don't know I've never done like the in-store minifigure factory before but maybe maybe it's just normal or maybe it's just because like it was in the beta stages of this um, but it, it did turn out pretty good. So what I did was the base here was this blue and white torso, which this print has existed for a while. Uh, it came in the last like castle line. And then I added the little sewn on skull and then the red like collar piece. And then around the back, I took the same red collar piece, duplicated it three times, flipped it around a bunch to make it look like he kind of has a full leather collar that wraps around and then I took a belt stretched it off the body so you couldn't see the buckle and then put a key underneath of it so it looks like he's got a key tucked into his belt I think it's pretty cool is it worth 17 bucks I'm not sure not with I would say I don't know it's hard to say because right now technically speaking this is the rarest minifigure ever because there's literally only one there's only mine so it, unless somebody goes and copies my torso print like down to the last detail then this dude only exists in my collection however the print quality is slightly less than what we're used to with normal lego so that's that's a little weird i'm hoping that maybe they'll get better with it maybe it's just because it's a beta i'm not sure uh, I'm really not sure. Um, and then you can see this accessory. It's just one of the Dao swords in gold. That's like the only... There was this and a bow, and I decided to go with this. Um, and it, it is fairly limited what you can do on the designer right now. I hope in the future LEGO makes more components, like maybe just a blank torso, and then you have, like say, cloth wrinkles, a pocket, a zipper, stuff like that, so you can build your minifigure entirely. But for now, it's really interesting, and it's kind of a novel thing to be able to get a fully custom minifigure from LEGO. Well, I say fully custom. The head already exists. You can't get print on the legs, so the main like change is the torso. And then, of course, you do get this brick, which feel free to scan that if your phone can register it here. Same QR code on both sides. I'm imagining that leads either to the LEGO website or to the minifigure uh, factory. 
So yeah, very interesting. Uh, again, I'm not sure if it's worth 17 bucks, but it is technically making a 100% or a exclusive minifigure in the torso. The rest of it's just you can kind of add what you want. And there he is with a few other guys. He fits in pretty well. It's just when you look closer, the torso print is a little below what we're used to. So there's a lot of potential here. A lot of potential. But LEGO needs to get their kinks worked out. So I would recommend checking out the minifigure designer. But I'm not entirely sure it's worth ordering from right now. Just because the price to the quality of print ratio is a little, a little wanting right now. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.